Have you ever wondered how the rich tapestry of India's culture and tradition came to be? Our journey begins with the dawn of civilization, the Indus Valley Civilization, a sophisticated society that sprang up around 5,000 years ago in what is now Pakistan and Northwest India. The Indus Valley Civilization was a marvel of urban planning. Their cities, such as Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, were meticulously planned, with a grid-like pattern of streets and impressive drainage systems. They built multi-story brick houses, public baths, and large granaries, demonstrating a level of sophistication that still awes us today. One of the most intriguing aspects of this civilization was its trading system. The people of the Indus Valley traded with far-off lands, including Mesopotamia, using a system of weights and measures that ensured fairness in their transactions. Their trading prowess was not limited to local exchanges, but extended across vast seas, connecting them with distant civilizations. And what of their everyday life? The discovery of seals and pottery provides us with valuable insights. The seals, intricately carved with animals and human figures, hint at a possible system of administration or a symbolic script. The pottery, often embellished with geometric patterns, gives us a glimpse into their artistic sensibilities. The civilization's agricultural practices were also noteworthy. They cultivated a variety of crops, including wheat, barley, peas and cotton. They domesticated animals, and their efficient irrigation systems allowed them to thrive in a region where rainfall was unpredictable. Yet, with all its splendor and sophistication, the Indus Valley civilization didn't last. Around 3,500 years ago, it began to decline. The reasons for this decline are still a subject of debate among historians. Was it due to a change in the course of the rivers? Was it because of overpopulation, deforestation, or an invasion? The mystery of the Indus Valley civilization's decline paves the way for the next era, the Vedic period. As we delve deeper into the annals of India's history, we uncover layers upon layers of a culture that has withstood the test of time, continually evolving, yet holding steadfast to its roots. As the Indus Valley faded, a new chapter unfurled in the Indian subcontinent, the Vedic period. This era, stretching from around 1500 BCE to 500 BCE, marked a significant shift in the region's cultural and spiritual landscape. One of the most profound transformations was the introduction of the Vedic religion, a precursor to modern Hinduism. This belief system, rooted in the ancient texts known as the Vedas, introduced the concept of a cosmic order or Urta, governed by deities like Agni, the fire god, and Indra, the king of gods. The Vedic religion also introduced the caste system, a social hierarchy that divided society into four primary groups, the Brahmins or priests, the Kshatriyas, the warriors and rulers, the Vaishyas, the farmers, traders and merchants, and the Shudras, the laborers. This system, while criticized for its rigidity and inequality, has indelibly shaped India's social fabric, influencing everything from occupation to marriage. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the Vedic period is the composition of two of India's great epic texts, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. Both narratives are much more than mere tales of heroism and adventure. They embody profound philosophical insights and moral lessons that continue to shape Indian society and culture. The Mahabharata, often described as the world's longest poem, explores the intricacies of duty, righteousness, and the complexities of human nature through the lens of a grand royal feud. The Ramayana, on the other hand, narrates the virtuous Prince Rama's quest to rescue his wife Sita from the demon king Ravana, weaving a narrative tapestry rich with lessons on devotion, honor, and the power of good over evil. These epics, along with the Vedas and the caste system, have left an indelible imprint on Indian society, culture, and philosophy influencing countless generations and forming the bedrock of many traditions and beliefs still prevalent today. The Vedic period's conclusion brought forth a time of kingdoms and empires, painting a vivid picture of India's historical landscape. Imagine a time when grand empires sprawled across the Indian subcontinent, from the Maurya to the Gupta Empire. This was an era where the foundations of India's rich cultural heritage were laid down. Our journey begins with the Maurya Empire, founded by the powerful leader Chandragupta Maurya around 4th century BCE. 
Chandragupta Maurya, with his strategic acumen and robust army, united most of the Indian subcontinent, creating the largest empire India had seen until then. However, it was his grandson, Emperor Ashoka, who left an indelible mark on history. Ashoka, initially known for his ruthlessness, underwent a transformative change after witnessing the devastation caused by the Kalinga War. He embraced Buddhism, and under his reign the philosophy spread throughout India and beyond its borders, reaching places as far as Central Asia and the Mediterranean. Shifting our focus to the Gupta Empire, we land in the Golden Age of Indian history. Founded by Maharaja Sri Gupta in the 4th century CE, the Gupta Empire is known for a remarkable period of cultural, scientific and artistic flourish that it fostered. This was the era that saw the genesis of the decimal system and zero in mathematics, advancements in astronomy, and the codification of important medical texts. The period also witnessed a renaissance in arts and literature with the creation of iconic works like the plays of Kalidasa and the Puranas. The Gupta Empire, under rulers like Chandragupta I, Samudragupta, and Chandragupta II, maintained a period of peace and prosperity, encouraging the growth of education, arts, and culture. But as with all empires, the Gupta Empire eventually fell, succumbing to internal conflicts and external invasions. The fall of the Gupta Empire marked the beginning of the medieval age, a time of dynamic changes and foreign invasions, but the legacy of the age of empires, the advancements made and the cultural heritage established continues to echo throughout the history of India. The medieval age in India was a time of foreign invasions, but also of cultural and architectural marvels. As the medieval age dawned, India saw the rise of the Delhi Sultanate, an Islamic empire of Turkic and Afghan origin. A period of immense cultural exchange, the Sultanate was notable for its contributions to art, architecture and culture. During this period, the Urdu language was born, blending Persian, Arabic and local Indian languages, a testament to the cultural intermingling. Following the Sultanate, the Mughal Empire emerged as a dominant power. The Mughals, originally from Central Asia, brought their unique blend of Persian and Turkic cultures to India. Their reign marked a golden era of architectural innovation with structures that have stood the test of time. Among these, the Taj Mahal stands out as a symbol of eternal love. Commissioned by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, this white marble mausoleum is an epitome of Mughal architecture, blending elements of Persian, Islamic and Indian architectural styles. The Mughal Empire's decline in the mid-18th century opened the door to a new era of foreign rule, this time by the British. The East India Company, initially a trading entity, gradually took control of vast territories in India, establishing its rule by the mid-19th century. The company's rule was marked by economic exploitation and political subjugation, leading to widespread resentment among the Indian populace. This culminated in the revolt of 1857, often regarded as India's first war of independence, which led to the dissolution of the East India Company. Following this, the British Crown took direct control, marking the beginning of the British Raj. The British Raj brought about significant changes in Indian society, including the introduction of modern education, railways, and the legal system. However, it also led to the economic drain of wealth, creating a long-lasting impact on the Indian economy. The struggle for freedom from colonial rule sparked a movement that would change the course of Indian history. The quest for independence from British rule was a saga of resilience, sacrifice, and unity. As the sun set on the 19th century, a new era dawned on the Indian subcontinent. A time of struggle, of aspiration, of a burning desire for freedom. This was the epic of the Indian independence movement, a period marked by the tireless efforts of countless individuals united in their quest for liberty. At the forefront of this movement was a figure who needs no introduction, Mahatma Gandhi. His philosophy of Satyagraha, or Truth Force, championed non-violence as a means of protest. He rallied the masses, inspiring them with his peaceful defiance against the oppressive British regime. His peaceful marches, like the historic Salt March, shook the very foundation of the British Empire. But the journey to independence was not smooth. It was a path paved with countless sacrifices. Many valiant souls, like Bhagat Singh, Chandra Shikhar Azad, and Rani Gaidin Liu, gave their lives in this noble pursuit. 
Their stories of bravery and sacrifice continue to inspire countless generations. Finally, after years of relentless struggle, on the 15th of August 1947, India broke free from the chains of colonial rule. But the joy of independence was marred by the bitter reality of partition, a painful division that led to the creation of Pakistan and sparked one of the largest mass migrations in history. Post-independence India embarked on a new journey as a democratic republic. Despite numerous challenges, it has made significant strides in various spheres, emerging as a global player on the world stage. From being a colony ravaged by years of exploitation, it has grown into a vibrant democracy, committed to the ideals of justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. From ancient civilizations to a vibrant democracy, India's history is as diverse and rich as its culture. The spirit of India lies in its resilience, its diversity, and its unwavering commitment to the ideals of democracy. As we journey through the annals of Indian history, we witness the evolution of a civilization, the struggle for freedom, and the birth of a nation.